The independent review panel of the African Development Bank has cleared Dr. Akimu Miadishino to be inaugurated for a second term in office as the president of the AFDB. Dr. Adishino was cleared of all allegations against him by the United States of America. The independent review panel was set up by the Bureau of Governors of the bank following a complaint by the United States to review the process by which two previous organs of the bank, the Ethics Committee of the Board and the Bureau of the Board of Governors, had previously exonerated Adishino. In January 2020, 16 allegations of ethical misconduct were leveled against Adishino by a group of whistleblowers. The allegations which were reviewed by the bank's Ethics Committee of the Board, which directors, a board of directors, Directors, rather in March were described as frivolous and without merit. Joining us live is Professor Banji Oyeleron Oyeyinka, the Special Advisor Industrialization to the President of the AFDB. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Pleasure to join you. The AFDB President has been exonerated. I want to get your reaction to this news. Oh, we are very delighted and I'm sure Africans are delighted at this uh, verdict. We knew all along that he's going to be cleared, uh, and I'm sure that uh, all of Nigeria today is uh, rejoicing at this uh, outcome of this meet of this uh, report. Uh, the tradition has worked extremely very hard to get to where he is, and uh, you know, for you or me, it's quite difficult to accept when you know you get to this point where uh, you are you are accused of things you didn't do. Uh, but I believe also that that's the nature of leadership. Uh, everywhere. Uh, a leader thrives uh, based on difficult circumstances like this. And I believe that uh, today uh, the Nigerian government have been extremely supportive. All African leaders have been extremely solid. They've been solid behind him. Uh, all of uh, partners all over the world, uh, civil society, uh, people who don't even know him have been calling to congratulate him. Yeah. So okay. we, we are very delighted that he has been cleared completely now. Uh, so there, there's people who believe that it's high time the bank broke away from Western influence. Do you agree with them? Well, we live in an interdependent world. Uh, we have non-regional members who are non-African members, as we, we see. Uh, they have substantial shares in the bank. Uh, and I, I believe that... Um, they will continue to be good partners with the bank. Uh, what I believe is that Africa should control its own destiny. Uh, the, the fight on the, all of the controversies we see today is not just about the tradition. Uh, it's not just about uh, holding a share. It's about the soul of Africa. And I believe this whole saga is sending a message to African leaders that this is their bank, and this is a bank that they need to fight for. Uh, on the longer term, to fulfill the mandate for which it was set up, that is to bring sustainable development to Africa. Yeah. Uh, Africa cannot continue to be the supplier of raw materials to the world. Africa should not be that place where 15,000 women die every day of preventable disease, where 8,000 children die of pre preventable disease. Africa should not be that continent that um, is looked at as the sick region of the world. Africa must take its place. And I think this is what the traditional is fighting for. Uh, I believe uh, the, the investment of others is welcome. But like I said, the bank, any regional bank should be controlled by those who were in that region. Do you feel that this has in any way affected the psyche of the president on running for a second term? And if no, will these allegations maybe affect his appointments and administration? Oh, not at all. I mean, if, if anything at all, it, it strengthens his resolve to do more. Uh, when you see, you know, as we say, when you get to manage at this extremely high level, at the global level, uh, you should expect that others will disagree with you. There will be a clash of ideas. There will be a clash of uh, personalities. Some people, as we have seen with the whistleblowers now, uh, there are frivolous allegations. And I'm glad that not just one, but three different committees have been able to dismiss these allegations. The board, the, 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 the board's ethics committee, the board of governors' ethics committee, and also now the independent panel that's totally out of the bank has dis dismissed these allegations as false. So I think it should, uh, you know, strengthen his resolve to do more. A leader doesn't fight for himself; he fights for his own people. 
And uh, knowing Dr. Deshino for whom he is, this has been his uh, credo all along. Yeah. To see an Africa that is prosperous, to see an Africa that is progressive, to see an Africa that is a uh, win out of poverty. Uh, and this, I believe, will be uh, actually a charge for him to move faster, to move to greater heights. Okay. Uh, and uh, we are all here to, uh, as all of Africans, to cheer him up to, along to do yeah. better. I, I, in this next five years. Dr. Ilaro, I, I want you to, in as little as 10 seconds, quickly speak on um, what this does for the image of Nigerians who are holding these positions outside Nigeria. And also, for example, the um, um, Ungozi Okonje Wela, who has also gone in for um, uh, the presidency, I believe, of the World Trade Organization. You know, does this also give her, you know, um, a boost? Definitely. Uh, Dr. Ishtar has shown Nigeria in a very good light. Uh, when you occupy a position like this, as he has done for five years, and even before now, he was a minister, he has held several international appointments. He has held himself with dignity, behaved with integrity. He had, uh, everyone that knows him knows that this man works extremely very hard. And he has proved himself and shown Nigeria to be the character that we have that we are very strong. Uh, I want to thank the president of Nigeria also. He's too solidly behind. So I think he has reward, you know, this faith that they have in him has been rewarded. And for yeah. all Nigerian young people today, uh, let, let them look at a man like this uh, as an example, as a model uh, for proper behavior. All right. Dr. Banji Oyelaro Oyeyinka, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. And um, we thank would love to also speak with you again. We wish, of course, uh, Dr. Akimu Miadeshina the best. Thank you. Thank you so much.